Aha! Uh -huh. Dinky do me hearties, it's just me, Scotty McClure. It's just gone 8.15 on Saturday morning, Saturday the 23rd of April 2022. And I thought I'll pop up and just say a quick hi to everybody. Lovely to have you with us. And we've also mentioned it on Facebook. So do come and join us first thing on a Saturday morning for a chit chat, a bit of chat. That's what it's all about. Hello, this is Say Less. You don't need to say less on here. And hello to you, Say Less. Do follow me, guys, as soon as you come on. Very, very good to have you with us. Um, definitely good. We're very, very short on followers. We've only got 20,000 and millions have actually seen Scotty McClure's videos. Hello, hello, says Andrew, Andrew Dinky Do. There's Rob. This is Rob Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome to our Saturday morning early pop up. So if you're lying in bed scrolling through and you think, oh, What's this? It's Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. Uh, and dinky do to you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Morning, Ewan. Good that you could join us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get sharing, get following. Watch the new videos that are up on TikTok just for you. Follow as soon as you can. Hello. Hello, Keto. Lovely to have you with us, Keto. Good morning. I'm doing a bit of Keto at the moment, diet-wise, and hopefully we might shed a little bit of timber. So there we are, timber! Lovely that you could all join us. Good morning to you, and thank you very much. If everybody can share this video and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, then everybody will know that we're on and they can come and join us, because if you've got an internet connection, if you're live on TikTok, you should be able to watch Scotty McClue. It's only fair. There we are. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Tom. Lovely to have you with us. Tom Cobra is there. Say less is smiling, smiling. I'm smiling back at you, say less. Well done, I say to you. Uh, Keto works. Just do it for three months or what? No longer because it's dangerous. Keto, excellent stuff. Keto Slim, I shall do it for that and then I shall chuck it. I'm about uh, two weeks in. So there you are. So it should we should be seeing some sort of movement. Scotty, what do you think of Kin Ross? I'm sure we did conversation about this earlier. I think, well, all of Fife is stunningly beautiful. All of the people of Fife, the Fife first kin, are stunningly wonderful people. So it's a great place, Fife. The roads could do with being done up a bit, but uh, it's a pretty good place. And Kinross is beautiful. And of course, Kinross House, I think the architect was Sir David Bruce, round about 400 years ago. A stunning, stunning, stunning mansion uh, overlooking Loch Leven. Do you think Boris is on his way out? Well, I think he will cling on to power like a desperate one, to be quite honest with you. Scotty, it's me again. Good morning. And then again, who would you get? Because if you look at who's around hard on his heels, and although they will tell you otherwise, every single MP would love to be prime minister. Every single MP. Boris is going, no what? I think you're probably right, Bill, yes. Love the pics behind you, young man. You look like a ladies' man back in the day. Oh, Keto, I have had my moments, I can tell you. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Exactly. Exactly, Bill. Yes, indeed, you and I are singing from the same hymn sheet, and I am 100% apolitical, you were saying. Uh, he is good for the SNP. Boris, oh, it's very good for the SNP. I mean, Scotland does not contain all that many Boris fans, I can tell you. Guys, are you following me as soon as you come on? And are you looking at all the TikTok videos for Scotty McClure? Because they're made with love just for you. And I think you should be. A lot of people are telling me this is one of the finest shows they've ever seen on TikTok. So there you are. I think that's a compliment. Uh, do you think the current PM of England should resign? There we are. 14 MPs voting to get rid. Good morning from Hollyhead in North Wales. Yakida and Nusda. I love it to have you with us. Has anybody followed us? Keto has. Thank you. Scotty, you're some man. Great chat. Doogie, you're some man yourself. 
and it is great chat. It's always great chat on here. We've got 731 likes, and we've we've just started. Good morning, Mr. McLean. Beautiful day. How are you, Cobrandist? I am absolutely stunning today, and my collar is matching the sky out there. So there's going to be a lot of work done at McClure Towers this morning. Uh, you've probably seen it on the video, but my cherry has popped out. So there we are. Uh, Boris's great-grandfather, Andrew, is that true? Right, how very strange. Whoa, your personality is amazing, Kito. What a lovely, lovely thing to say. So is yours. There you are. You come across. We're not even watching you, Kito. And yet your personality comes across big style. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Now, who have we got here? Do you think Berensfield will win the footy final today? Well, Harry, obviously, I know the scores of all the games, but I'm not going to give them away. You'd need to look away now, you know. Independence for England is surely the answer. Bobby Bears Den, I think you've got a very good point there. I think if England and the way things are going with Brexit, Northern Ireland and uh, Wales and Scotland all went for independence, then I think Westminster would have to have a wee look at its greed and incompetence. There we are. Watch who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Uh, what's your favourite biscuit? Oh, Rebecca. Well, I can't have biscuits at the moment because of my special diet, but I adore an Abernethy, uh, a rich tea, uh, a bourbon. Um, you'll see me eating a biscuit on the TikTok video to teach the world to eat a biscuit properly the correct way. So if you look at my TikTok videos, you'll see the master biscuitier, Scotty McClue, eating a biscuit properly. And I think that's important. Happy St. George's Day, Scotty. Uh, show uh, dinky do old boy. Yes, happy St. George's Day to all our England watchers right now. It's got to be the Garibaldi, Scotty. Oh, well, the Garibaldi, is that not a haircut? Uh, there we are. But no, no, I know. I'm just being silly. The Garibaldi biscuit, of course, very, very famous. Called after Garibaldi. Uh, was he not the unifier of Italy? Happy St. George's Day, everybody. Poor old England, though. I do feel for them because Scotland, Ireland and Wales, St. Andrew, uh, St. Patrick and St. David, Andrew, Patrick and David, um, they were actually the names of the king who abdicated. Edward VIII was Andrew Patrick David. Uh, they were all genuine saints, but I think St. George was just made up. But don't be, uh, don't be saying too much to the English about that. We don't want to upset them. My name is George. I'm from Scotland. I love Wales, says Kito Slima, Yekida, and Adborada. There we are. What's your thoughts on the Queen? Well, everybody, Louise, adores the Queen. You know, I've never heard anybody say a word against the Queen, nor would they, because it would be very disloyal. But no, she's absolutely fabulous. That's my thoughts. So there we are. <clears throat> now then, what have we got here? The writings on the wall. I think the writings on the wall for... Uh, for the United Kingdom. Well, it was um, got together under a false uh, premise. Anyway, who likes Julius Caesar? <clears throat> well, I think of Mark Antony's speech in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. I'll do you a little bit of it for you. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him, the evil that men do lives after them, the good is often teared with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told us Caesar was ambitious. Is this ambition? A wee bit of Julius Caesar, a wee bit of Shakespeare for you guys. What about that? Did you do? Scotty, can you see my comments? Gorbals boy. Of course I can. The wonderful Louise has followed us. Can everybody get following as soon as you join Scotty McClure? If you haven't followed, please, please get following. It's the right thing to do. There we are. Give the man an Oscar, says Cole Brandis. 
Well, I'll tell you, if I do get an Oscar for that, Cobrandus, I won't be punching or slapping the um, the host of the awards, you see, because McClure knows how to behave. <laughs> Good morning, Scotty, from the other side of the pond. A walk with nature. What a joy to find you here. Uh, follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, David. Boris, yes. Oh, Andrew, excellent. Uh, Andrew's saying the Shakespearean reference for Boris would be, now is the winter of our discontent. Oh, did you see what I just did there? Is that not, um, who's that, a winter's tale? There we are. Uh, fantastic. You had me going there. I was worried. No, Gorbals boy, never, ever worry. When you're watching Scotty McClue, all your worries should disappear. That's what it's all about. Uh, so lovely to have a walk with nature with us. So good of you. I'm thinking writing a book, The Square Sausages of Scotland. Well, Bobby Bear's Den, it would make a change from the monarchs of Scotland. You know, get the square sausages, the lawn, of course, a very big one, and uh, obviously something to do with Argyle. There we are. Bojo has got to go, says Big BC. Do you think so, BC? But who would you get in his place? There we are. And what's, uh, what I think's incredible about Bojo is he just tells you anything, and you're supposed to believe it. The bulk of it you can't hear if he's really under pressure then I've noticed it. You know, that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, is that is that the right kind of chat for the leader of the country? See, prime minister is just a courtesy title, usually chosen by your own party. So the real title would be the first lord of the treasury, as in Scotty McClue is the first lord of the internet. That's my... Real title. <coughs> you leave Boris alone, Louise is saying. I guess you're right. The devil you know. Well, yes. I mean, okay. Um, he's, he's a bit of an embarrassment. We get a bit of a ruddy when he's doing something uh, uh, abroad or, or at home or, uh, or in Scotland. Or that. But at least you know what you're dealing with. Yes, you're dealing with a, a highly intelligent bumbler. There we are. Scotty McClure for the next Prime Minister. Woodworker, do you think I would make a good Prime Minister standing up at the dispatch box? Mr. Speaker, may I say to the right honourable gentleman opposite. Oh, could you imagine? Waving the, waving the altar paper and all that stuff. I could do a better job than Boris's PM. Well, Andrew, get applying. I'm sure if you could, people would spot it. Uh, he's a buffoon, says Stephen. There's a good old word, isn't it? Uh, you could sell sand. Boris could sell sand to Arabs uh, who have a loud voice. Yes. Time to scrap central government altogether and return to local government with rotated leaders. How very interesting. Yes. Well, certainly take a lot of the power away. Uh, Scotland should be able to keep its own money and perhaps pay a levy to Westminster once we've got our economy repaired after 314 years. I could see you as PM, says Doogie Shields. Well, I can remember when Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, Mrs. Thatcher, I should say, Lady Thatcher, was, um, when Lady Thatcher was going on about, well, I don't know if she was Lady Thatcher then, I think she was Mrs. Thatcher, and she was going on about how challenging Prime Ministerial Office is. <coughs> and um, and at the time that she was in, most of it of her own making, I say. But uh, I remember Harold Macmillan, who clearly couldn't really stand her, um, a dear old sort of, aristocratic style figure, because the Macmillans were Scots, originally from Arran, from a wee croft. They were Macmillan, the publishers. But Harold, <coughs> Uncle Harold, as they, as they called him at Chatsworth House, uh, because he was married to a Devonshire. So there we are. He was he was actually married to a Devonshire. He was married to, uh, to Lady Cavendish. And um, <coughs> he took, <coughs> pardon me, 
He took great heart in winding uh, Margaret Thatcher up by saying, I much enjoyed the office of Prime Minister because it was by far the easiest and one could always get a little sleep in the afternoon or read a little Pride and Prejudice. So he was actually saying to Baroness Thatcher, you know, get it around you. Baroness Thatcher said Scotland doesn't need a referendum. All she needs is a majority of MPs. Uh, <coughs> well, the old Scottish Tory was quite patrician, you know, and didn't really cause a stushy. Uh, now, the cause a stushy. Iron Lady's statue doesn't need to be going up in Grantham. Just a waste of money. Should they put one up in Scotland? Would would that do well in, in George Square? We should have a St. Scotty Day. Well, you see, <coughs> no, have, have you not got to have snuffed it before you get, uh, you become a saint? You get beatified and then sanctified and all that sort of stuff. Obviously in Scotland. Oh, yes, yes. I mean, absolutely, Andrew. Yes, I think we get you there. <clears throat> if you've just joined us, folks, can I say a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on TikTok with TikTok's top talk show. It's early on a Saturday morning. It's just gone half past eight. It's 8.32. And uh, have you actually followed? Let me see if anybody's followed us, guys. And um, I can look at the, the figures here, you see. And I've done a lot of TikTok videos for you. So I think we should be all following if you've got an internet connection, you should be following Scotty McClure on TikTok. That's really the rules of it. So there we are. Now we uh, can do with more followers, please. Is everybody following? Come on, come on, come on. Why don't we have a follow fest? You need to drink. You need a drink of Scottish water. You know, user 34716592234716592. Uh, Let me try that again. Um, <clears throat> User 34716592346339. Uh, Let me try it without the uh in the middle. Yes. Okay, here we go. User 34716592346333. You're quite right. I need a drink of Scottish water. Here we are. Oh, that's it. That's lush. Uh, bring back the monster raving loony party. I say vote loony. You know, it makes sense. Do you know, Stuart, I remember. Uh, yes, um, Lord Screaming Lord Such. David Such with his top hat uh, entering in for all the elections. Wonderful, very highly entertaining chap. Sadly, I think no longer with us. Am I correct? Uh, Mrs. Thatcher, the milk snatcher. Yes, well, you see, she was education secretary. Now, education is a hot potato for any any official, any politician, local or national. Education is a hot tatty. And Margaret Thatcher was education secretary because apparently, and this was reported back to me, her great home secretary was Willie Whitelaw, Viscount Whitelaw, who's a lovely old Scottish aristocrat. Lots of Scottish aristocrats in those days. Willie Whitelaw, and Willie knew everybody. And the Archbishop of Canterbury at the time was Ronald Runcie, lovely man, Ron Runcie. And the... Um, who else have we got here? The Lord Chamberlain was Lord Maclean of Duart in Scotland. Again, uh, uh, another Scot. And uh, he was the Lord Chamberlain who obviously ran things for the royal household. Marvellous man. Chips, Chips Maclean. Uh, so he, he, was, he was a lovely man as well. And... Um, so what you had there was the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Home Secretary, and the Lord Chamberlain. Now, the connection between these three guys was that they'd all been officers in the Scots Guards during the Second World War. So can you imagine if the Home Secretary 
wanted to speak to the Lord Chamberlain. Or the Lord Chamberlain wanted to speak with the Archbishop of Canterbury. They knew each other. I mean, that would have happened anyway, but it's a lovely, lovely story. And Edward Heath, <laughs> Edward Heath went to Willie Whitelaw and said, Willie, I've got this able uh, young woman, <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> uh, should I get her into the cabinet? And uh, Willie allegedly, uh, well, no, he, he did. He said to Edward Heath, if you get her in, you will never get her out. As if to say, she, I know her well, and she's very, very, very determined. And of course, as events proved, <coughs> poor old Edward, yes, who had been a major in the Royal Artillery, and I think was probably parachuted in to, um, to uh, Suez at the Suez Crisis in 1956. So uh, Edward ended up getting stabbed in the back by Margaret Thatcher. And the two of them uh, did not really get on. And I can remember hearing a story that at Willie Whitelaw's funeral, um, Heath just stared at Margaret Thatcher. And he was reading a lesson. He read the lesson at Willie Whitelaw's funeral. So there we are. Uh, Thatcher made that powdered ice cream, says Nicholas. Aha. Uh -huh. On your radio show, I won a prize, mini Mars bars, and then you sent me the paper too. Yes, indeed. S1234567891011. Very original. Love your handle on here. Tremendous. Uh, there we are. The lady is not for turning. Yes, you turn if you want to. The lady is not for turning. And that reference, of course, the lady is not for burning. Uh, there we are. Paper on the day my daughter was born. I sent you the paper on the day your daughter was born. I saw my birth notice last week on the Herald, in the, the Glasgow Herald. I didn't have a name. I was just known as a son. I've been given a few names since then, I can tell you. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, a very, very good morning to you. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. So there's some great stories for you guys, you see. Never a dull moment. McClue's not just an athlete, you know. I can tell you that. I'm also a black belt in karaoke. I've uh, been here. What's that? Hang on a minute. Oh, I think this is a dodgy, dodgy, dodgy wee guy, guys. We're just getting rid of a half-witted idiot troll, a dirty, filthy wee midden. Gone, gone. There we are, end of the idiot. Right, we'll not bother with any of that. What was your first claim to fame, Scotty? My first claim to fame, I appeared in pantomime when I was about, uh, oh no, when I was very young. I appeared in pantomime, and then I appeared in pantomime when I was about um, 17. I appeared in pantomime. Fantastic stuff. So there we go. Now then, no, I mean, you sent me paper on the day my daughter, daughter was born. Yes, it did. Uh, so there we are. Now then, who have we got? Uh, there's one for the Swanee, Oco Brandis Street, down the Swanee. Uh, with liars and filth, right? No room for it anywhere on TikTok. There we are. The 805, Doncaster. Yes, indeed. Thatcher said uh, England is very good to Scotland. Scotland's oil revenue. Oh, Andrew. If we'd kept our oil revenue, we could still have fed England as we are doing now. So, I mean, I, you know, I adore our English brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts, but I am saying to them, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Scotland feeds you. What are your visions of the national 
Uh, Andrew, I don't know about Andreas. I don't know enough about it. Yes, absolutely. There we go. Love the radio shows. I'm glad I've come across this. I'm glad you've come across this. The radio shows, we're going back on the radio very, very soon. So that will be excellent. And um, there we go. Now then, um, who have we got here? I think we've got another idiot here, guys, called Nick the Slick. So Nick the Slick can go doing the swanner. Bye-bye, Nick the Slick. <laughs> Halfwit. Right, that's that. Now, what else have we got here? Um, Thatcher got the Welsh Guards killed, says Nicholas. Well, yes, and seriously wounded. Um, yes, I do remember hearing that, uh, you know, there were serious problems out there, obviously, because we didn't have the air cover that were acquired with helicopters. Our wedding photos were interrupted by Maggie on a submarine passing the Gantuck Hotel. Bobby, yes, I love the old Gantuck Hotel. Fantastic. Well, it was quite modern in its uh, day. So there we are. There's David the halfway. David, you must never assume that everybody has your lifestyle. And we'll certainly dump you for being a dirty, filthy wee midden and a half-wit. There's David gone for good. Never hear of him again, idiot. Right, fantastic. Now then. <coughs> At junior school, we used to collect the cream off the half-pint milk bottles and make butter. Yes, called Brandist. We did things in those days. We grew cress and the teacher brought in uh, bread on the Friday and we had cress sandwich. These were exciting times, you know. They were lovely as well. There we are, teacher. We used to have toast with homemade butter. Cobrandus, that was your primary teachers in those days. There we go. Now, I remember the clip from the radio show where you made a depressed person laugh so much. Andreas, do you know if you go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, you can still get that clip? And I think it's under something like Scotty McClue talks to Rob from Southport. So have a look on that. The Scotty McClue YouTube channel, of course. Scotty McClue and its voice of the world radio talk show. They were a nice, humble title I've chosen. Voice of the world radio talk show. You'll get it on there. Uh, got the goat off first. Yes, uh, they run down the armed services, thus we were attacked in 83, sorry, 82. Yes, I mean, well, I mean, you know, conservatives will always cut and cut and cut. So there's more money to stuff in their friends' pockets. And then that's how you get influence. Uh, there we grew crests, empty eggshell, uh, wet cotton wool, absolute cobrandist. How incredible. You and I might have been at primary school. At the same time, obviously different schools. Can you all follow me as soon as you come on? Very, very important. I've got 3,000 likes and we've only popped up for a short time here. Incredible. Good morning, Dinky Doo. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. Duduka. Uh, Sinclair, thank you for following. What a thoroughly decent human being. That's a lovely thing to do. Everybody should follow Scotty McClure. In fact, guys, if I have a sip of Scottish water, could we have a wee follow fest when everybody watching actually follows? Uh, Scotty, where's your favourite place to visit in Scotland? All of it, Frankie Bohoy. Uh, do you think the aid budget should be reduced to four billion and the rest invested in infrastructure? Everything, because we've come out of Europe and made a massive, massive, massive error of judgment, and we're heading now for economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. That's how successful Brexit's been. Uh, I think we will be losing a lot. Dinky do, we'll get you 4K easy. Wow. We're on 3,400 likes, guys. If everybody wants to go tap, 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 that would be fantastic. Kent Nord, I thank you for your four beautiful hearts. Very, very kind of you. Right. <clears throat> I'm going water sipping. I'm watching as we speak. Can you all follow me now? Right. So you click. I think you go to the top left. There's a little plus sign and it clicks follow the host. And uh, there we are. Uh, 
Yes, indeed. Absolutely, Nicholas, I understand. You know, but I don't think we'll recall that because it should be very, very upsetting for the families watching. All right, so there we are, Nicholas. How will Scotland build its future if only 60% can actually work and build it? Well, Jimmy, you don't know where that 60% are bringing in. You could be one person and uh, own huge farms and be bringing in huge, huge percentages of work. could be bringing in billions with all your, your combining and your barley for the whiskey industry and all these things. So you see, your 60% your, your is a very high number. Uh, Falklands will go down as our last colonial war. I think it probably will, Andrew, to be honest, although I don't think Argentina was a colony, although you could say that I would think that the Falkland Islands would be a, a protectorate. Is that right? But Argentina, uh, you, you couldn't call uh, a colony because I don't think we ever colonised South America. Although there's big, big British influence there, obviously. Good morning, Scotty Dinky Uh Now, there we are. Yes, Scottish financial services are upwards. They're worth $1.5 So there you are. And you might find that, uh, you know, there's a relatively small number working in them. Uh, hi, Scotty. Do you do Scotty calendars? You know, we haven't looked into merchandise yet. There's a huge demand and desire for the Scotty McClure badge. It'll be backwards. But that's it there, Scotty McClure, dinky do. And there's a huge desire for that. So we'll have to do some merchandising. Morning, Scotty. Have a brilliant day. Aidan, lovely to have you with us. Thank you for that news. I know it's sad news, but he will no longer suffer any pain, and he was a giant of the music world. There we are. Where are you, Faye, originally? Faye Greenock and the Clyde, originally. Oil and gas are worth more than banking, Andrew. 100% correct. So somebody's really looking at the wrong figures there. They might be looking at the kind of figures that have been put out as propaganda because Westminster is desperate that Scotland goes nowhere. There we are. It's my birthday today, getting ready for my cadets parade, then my birthday party this evening. Elizabeth, have a lovely cadets parade. We salute you. Happy birthday, I say to your mum. There we have it. Uh, happy birthday, Liz, everybody. Some descent, Liz. A weakest. Let's see if anybody's followed, guys. Just watching. No, nope, haven't got enough followers yet. We need loads more followers, please. Um, my goodness me, isn't that interesting? Yes, indeed. Uh, no one's arguing Scotland's economic forecast, but equally they are forecasts. Not facts. Well, no, uh, you can say they are forecasts, but there's a lot of fact. I can tell you that 314 years ago, when there was huge recession and famine in, in Scotland, people were starving, dropping down dead in the roads and fields. And even then, Scotland had to seriously, seriously, seriously devalue its economy to facilitate economic union with England. So it just shows you. I'm subscribed on TikTok and YouTube, Scotty Elizabeth. That's fabulous. Thank you so much. We just need lots more followers. You need to get on with the merchandise before the... Uh, all right. Oh, no, call Brandis. Nobody would buy that. I would make an announcement and they would be jailed. There we are. Fantastic. We don't do that. Uh, right. Um, don't be giving people ideas, call Brandis. There's a fellow... Uh, Homer's just joined us. Lovely to have you with you. Homer Simpson has joined us and Dinky Doo. Uh, now then, what's your plans for today, Scotty? Kaz, there is so much needing done at McClure Towers. Have you seen the latest video that my cherry has popped out? For goodness sake. Scotland, which should have famine in the Highlands, was sent money by the lowlands of Scotland. Andrew Hall, you're actually right there. Yes, the lowlands were very, very rich because, you see, highland ground, I think, is harder, is tougher than the soft, gentle, rolling uh, stuff of the borders. So there we are. Fantastic. Now then, 
Uh, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Let everybody know. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, I'm on 7,000 likes. Can you see my likes? 7,000 just as I spoke there. That's incredible. You know, I think we might get 10,000 before the end of this broadcast. Do you have a sit-on lawnmower in my head, a picture? Huge manicured lawns. Well, very much manicured, but not sit-on. You know, you're, you're, you're proper, a proper lawnmower. You know, my father had a, a lawnmower that you pushed and it was so beautifully engineered and well-oiled, it wasn't even heavy. And you actually pushed this thing, didn't have any power at all. Uh, you know, uh, good morning, Scotty. Love from Los Angeles. Uh, keep on safe. How lovely to have you with us from LA. So good of you to join us. A lot of California, eh? Does join Scotty McClure. Guys, I'm on 7.7 thousand likes. Can everybody get following? This is huge. And can everybody share this live video right now? Just share it. That would be great. Uh, should Boris go camping on Loch Goyle Head on holiday? Don't mention the midges. Harsh. Harsh. Um, uh, win a roller on the back for stripes. Oh, yes, Cobrandus. Oh, we did the stripes. And I remember one time he did something different. He went diagonal because he used to scarify the lawn, frighten the life out of it. And he used to irritate the lawn. So we spent a day with pitchforks, with grapes, as they called them, digging it in to irritate the lawn. You know, fantastic. Um, P PMSL. I remember the non-electric lawnmower. I bet it was green and rusty. No, this there was not a dot of rust. This was oiled and had ball bearings and it had two rollers. So when you turned it, one went backwards and the other forwards and it was a manual. But I remember the old, I know the one you're talking about, the T-piece handle and just two big uh, steel wheels. And uh, and the blades, and you kind of pushed and pulled it. Yeah, that was one. And uh, prior to that, and my father was very good at this as well, it was the scythe. The scythe. Tremendous. Uh, the Scots won at Bannockburn because for once we were united. Well, Andrew Hall, this is it. You do no fighting at all and unite. I noticed some pretty horrible things being said about the nationalists. And uh, I know they say some pretty horrible things about the unionists. But, you know, we need to agree 100% that, that the future of Her Majesty the Queen, her heirs and successors are heads of state in perpetuity in Scotland. And that's not a discussion. It's not an argument. The crown will prevail. If anybody is anti uh, the Queen, anti the Crown, I should say, then, because nobody could ever be anti the Queen, let's have it straight. But if you're ever anti the Crown, independence is toast. End of. That's it. Into the long grass. Uh, sent nutrients to the roots. I saw it in a documentary. Well, Cobb Brandis, that was my father. He was a great organiser and a great gardener. The Queen can move here. Andrew Hall, of course. I think we've got either, is it seven or nine royal residences. And we could also easily do up Linlithgow Palace. I think Westminster should have to do up Linlithgow Palace um, under uh, reparation of damages for Culloden, because it was the Duke of Cumberland, uh, Stinking Billy, the butcher, who actually sacked Linlithgow Palace. I think it was at the night or a night or two before Culloden. Now, uh, crispy baked tofu, you're obviously some kind of half-wit that's used to very poor quality uh, work. And this is you using a standard trollism. So that means you are a troll. So I can't trust you to have an intelligent conversation on the world's top talk show. So I think what we'll do with you, Crispy Baked Tofu, is send you down the swanee for life. Guys, can you read Crispy Baked Tofu and ask him if we send him down the swanee, turn him into toast, 
or do we let him stay and learn the error of his ways? What do we think? Guten Morgen, guten Morgen, TikTok, good morning. Nicht Deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer, ich verstehe. Uh, what have you got? Uh, absolutely, Haldi, yes, indeed, Prince Andrew too. Love you, Scotty, but couldn't disagree more. Well, I mean, the, you know, Prince Andrew's paid his money. There's absolutely no evidence against the man, so there you are. So should he come back into public life? I know he made uh, unwise decisions about the company he was keeping, but um, I would imagine that uh, that money was paid just so that um, his, his mother's 70th wasn't hijacked. Um, thank you for your recommendations last week. Had a fantastic time at Blenheim Palace. Go Brandis, you would. Did you pop over to Bladen Church, to the little churchyard, and see the graves of Lord Randolph Churchill, Churchill's father, and of course Churchill himself. There we are, absolutely. Eight and a half thousand likes. Uh, when we are independent, the royal palaces in Scotland will be refurbished. Yes, but Andrew, no, 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 no. You're jumping the gun, la la. That would mean we are paying. I think Westminster should pay reparation of damages and uh, get Lynn Lithgow, get the roof back on, and the floors in. Bye, Crispy, get rid of the trolls where we're doing it. Every time you go live, I lose a sock. TikTok, that's so strange, so do I. I have to open a drawer and take out two. Not necessarily a pair, two. Yes, that's what it's about. Guys, uh, has everybody followed us? Don't do it, says Crispy Baked Tofu. Crispy Baked Tofu, is there a chance you could learn your lesson and realize that we don't do silly wee trolley things on here? We do big talk, and you can use your intelligence. What about that? Guys, we might have saved somebody here. Toast, says Nikki. Get rid of the trolls. Greenstone chips and weed killer is my gunning. No, Bobby, weed killer, mm, not good, not good, not good. No, 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 no. Uh, so there's Andrew. He says, Prince Andrew was set up. Well, big possibility there, Andrew. Uh, tinky do. Yes, tinky do. Thank you, Julianne. Uh, thank you for following us. Andrew's laughing his head off here. There we go. Fantastic. How is uh, an escape goat. No, I think it's a scapegoat is the word. It's not actually an escape goat. There we are. Bourbons or custard creams? I need an answer from the greatest talk show radio host. Both. Absolutely both. And I think you want to look at the TikTok videos and the YouTube videos. And I think you want to see Scotty McClure, the master biscuiteer, demonstrating to the world how to eat a biscuit properly the correct way. And you'll see me doing that. So uh, scroll down the TikTok videos until you see Scotty McClue eating a biscuit. Like and uh, watch and like and share every single TikTok video because they're very, very good for you. Football Ranger is sending me beautiful gifts. Thank you so much. You're very kind. There we are. And uh, Andrew's going on with all sorts of stuff. Very interesting, Andrew. Um, I won't read that out because I don't have evidence for that, obviously. Your hat's so cute. Again, move Hadrian's Wall. Aidan, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're talking about it. We're going to move Hadrian's Wall to just north of Watford. Anything south of Watford is England. The rest is Scotland. So that would include Cumbria, Northumbria. Do you like the old titles, guys? See what I'm doing here. Uh, Cumbria, Northumbria, uh, Lancashire, Yorkshire, the house of, of Lancaster and York, um, the Midlands, yes, the old black country, tremendous. All of that would be Scotland. Isn't it beautiful? The East Coast over there, all the wonderful East Coast, tremendous stuff. Yeah, I agree, they owe us billions in stolen revenue. Oh, Andrew, they do. Westminster owes Scotland big time. And so far, to my knowledge, 
They don't acknowledge that because they're far too frightened because then they would have to say, we're sorry and pay reparations of damages. Unfortunately, we didn't, Scotty. There was a service on being atheist. I didn't want to intrude. Uh, yes, well, I mean, we need an atheist to explain to us exactly what they don't believe in, and then that will be them defining their God, if you see what I mean. There we are, fantastic stuff. Now, there, there we go. Andrew Hall, yes, very, very interesting. Uh, but let's give the troll some edumacation. Aid and edumacation on here. Information, entertainment, and edumacation. Fantastic. You have the power to convert the trolls. Well, I think we should convert some of them. But obviously, the dirty, filthy, mucky middens uh, and the liars have to go doing the swanny right away. There we are. Fantastic. Thank you very much for my lock and key. What a beautiful gift. You are so kind to me. Uh, I believe the royals should go archaic. Reminder of the past horror. Scotland needs to be independent. Haldi, yes, Scotland needs to be independent, but under the crown. You've got to remember the crown is apolitical. And we are talking independence is political. And if you don't go under the crown, Haldi, let me tip you the wink, Lala. Independence will be booted straight into the long grass forever and a day. And you'll also lose 50% of the vote. That's the 50% that stayed in 2014. Yes, so if you can make sure that the crown is secure. Secular fair society. No, not secular, Haldi, because then you lose your belief in the supreme being, a far greater power than mankind. So seculars are tiny-minded. Fair society, yes, of course. Uh, have you had a chat about the rap yet, Aidan? We have. And I think rap should be banned in favour of Scottish country music. And I know you don't like this, but I think brass band music. Uh, I, Aidan, I uh, have dedicated to you a TikTok from last night of me playing a brass number without the instrument. So that's for you. I might do some more of that, but I'd like your adjudication on it to tell me if it's any good. I know you gave me 10 out of 10 on Easter Sunday morning for giving you the full hymn. Uh, so that's what we're looking at there. Guys, get on to the TikTok videos. Mercia, Cobrandus, that's the one. The ancient kingdom of Mercia would be in Scotland as well. Uh, love the thought of the black country being in Scotland. Beautiful holiday. There we are. Got to have Mercia involved. We love Mercia. Now, does Mercia cover effectively the bottom bit of Mercy side? And does it go down towards Gloucestershire and things like that, Aidan? Doncaster in England was never officially handed back to England. Andrew, let's keep Donny. And we could maybe open the coal mines. I don't think they should have shut Long Annette. Well, I, I don't mind the fact they shut Long Annette Power Station. But my advice at the time, apolitical of course, was that it should be mothballed. And they demolished it. Because we might need to go back to coal burning. Let's not get too carried away with the green agenda in case it is not actually enforceable. Uh, do you recommend buying an audience with Scotty McClure and VHS for my wife's birthday? Bobby, I would always recommend buying an audience with Scotty McClure. You'll probably get it now for a quid. <laughs> um, are you? Oh, here's Ollie Mad. Shall we send Ollie Mad down the swanee? Yeah, he's an idiot. Guys, Ollie Mad is leaving us for being an idiot and a halfwit. Bye bye, Ollie. You're not very jolly. We'll send you doing the swanee for being a half-wit. There he goes. Oh, wonderful. There we go. Now, Frank Toe has followed us. Thank you. I agree totally. There we are. Followers. Uh, that's somebody agreeing with Haldi. Bits of it. Not totally. We don't obviously want to be without our monarchy. 
Hey, good morning, sir. Good morning, Jeannie. Lovely to have you with us, and a big dinky do. I say to you, England's planning to build nuclear power stations. Scotland's got plenty, hasn't it? Although we lost uh, Chapel Cross, and that was a biggie. It'd be nice to be part of a country where you're not considered racist for celebrating patriotism. But Brandis, I don't think you are considered racist. That's patriotist. And I don't think that's a problem at all. Because this country needs patriots. Scotty McClue is a patriot. Yes, absolutely. And uh, the wonderful guy I remember standing with huge respect in a tiny churchyard in East Lothian, East Salton Kirk, and looking at the grave of Andrew Fletcher of Saltoon, who was known as the Patriot, and was a member of the last Scottish government uh, before 1707. Andrew Fletcher of Saltoon, look him up, the Patriot. Uh, so there you are. Now then, no, not related. Um, I'm an atheist, says Aidan, but I don't know the half of it, and I'll rely on... I don't know what that actually means, Aidan. How very interesting. Follow us if you can, guys. Everybody get following. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jeannie. Uh, rebellious Scots to crush. Well, that hasn't been sung for 150 years. And the national anthem was by Handel. And I think it's an excellent anthem. That's the national anthem of Scotland. The rebellious Scots to crush hasn't been sung for 150 years and will never, ever be sung again, uh, uh, unless perhaps a Scottish independence, and then it doesn't matter. Uh, I like Scotty. I'm a man of faith. Good one, Andrew. Uh, where's Indy? Uh, Indy is uh, the... Dream of the Scottish people, short for independence. There we are. Uh, oh, where's India? Have you missed out the A? Define patriotism. Patriotism is that you vow to thee, my country, that you see your country as your country, that you have a love of your country, that you support the crown and you support the laws of your country. So that's, I would say, my definition of patriotism, that you are loyal to the crown, that you love God, and you serve the queen. Now, well, that's not too bad, is it? True patriotism isn't racist. Of course it's not. This word racist has crept in. You know, I, uh, I, I remember a young person saying, that they'd been bullied, eh? the people were being racist to them. They'd been bullied because they were from Paisley. And I had to say to the young person, and what race are the Paisley people? I know they're the buddies, you know, and that stuff. But you see, this word racist, we have to be very, 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 very careful of using these terms, these um, divisive terms. I wouldn't use any of them at all, because on here, the reason, one of the reasons for Scotty McClure's great success is we don't divide people at all. We are non-divisive. And on here, it doesn't matter uh, what your race or your creed or your color or your pronouns or your background or your orientation, it just doesn't matter because we're not actually interested. Do you see what I mean? So you can't have racism if you've only got one race. There we go. We don't comment on individuals, so you know, Jadfa. Uh, while the nation state exists, we're in perpetual competition. No, we're not, you see. We're not in any competition with the nation state because... That's apolitical. So there's no conflict between Scotland and Her Majesty the Queen and the Crown. Zero conflict. Local councils in England send out letters for our house to remove the England flag for fear of offence. Well, how can you possibly have offence when you're showing your national flag? It's part of the Union flag. I think, though, the Scottish... Um, 
saltire. The, the, the white diagonal crosses should dominate the Union flag since we joined it later. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so there you have it. Cobrandus is sending me TikToks. And he's sending me thousands of TikToks. You're very kind. Sir, it's about to start here. Absolutely, Seven America Captain. How are you doing? Pascal's wager is accepting God on the deathbed for insurance. Aiden, I thought it was, but I didn't want to wade in in case I'd got it wrong. There we are. Cobrandist, how kind are you being to Scotty McClue? Guys, I've got Cobrandist here one of our huge watchers and listeners, and he's going absolutely berserk with TikToks. Is that not a really beautiful thing to do? And we've only got about three minutes left, and then we have to go. Can everybody follow me, please? Cobrandus, what are you doing? So we like Pascal's wager, but accepting God on the deathbed means you've missed out in life. And I would imagine that's when you're in extremis. And that's when, if you're Catholic, you would have the last rites read to you. There we are, of said to you, I should say. So there we have it. Um, thank you very, very much, Cobrandus. This is incredible. Cobrandus is sending hundreds and hundreds of TikToks. This, I mean, I've seen this a few times, but this is just huge. We used to have a lovely, lovely lady came on and she, and she would always send gifts. So there we are. Now, now uh, what we'll do is there's G-T-E-B-S-Y, a half-witted idiot down the swanee with a dirty, filthy wee midden. There it goes. Lifetime ban. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, thank you so much. 152 tick talks. Is that not incredible? A small price to pay for my Saturday morning entertainment co-brandist. That was just so very, very, very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we have it, I say to you. There you go, a major hit. Andrew, huge. Huge. Being scientifically minded, I suppose I can't be atheist. At best, I have to be agnostic. Well, you see, if you think about it, you might find that Darwin's theory of evolution is actually complete and utter nonsense. You could only have evolution because you'd had creation. Yes, otherwise you couldn't have evolution. I love the show, Andrew, fantastic. We all love the show because it's about you guys. I might be sitting here, but it's about you guys, and I love that. Get following, please, guys, if you've just joined us. I'm a minister. Excellent, Andrew. Big bang. Big bang, Aiden, caused by the creator. Yes, indeed. Toasted toast, says Yurikin. We evolved from one reptile species 300 million years ago. Look at our skin and the scales of them. Real anonymous, yes, but look at how they evolved. They were created. Guys, I'm going to have to go. Kareem says, hello, Scotty. How are you? Brilliant, Kareem. Uh, I'm just going to have to dash. We've been up for an hour. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Bless every single one of you. Stay fabulous. Have a lovely, lovely Saturday. Set your notifications. Follow Scotty McClue. Enjoy every single video on TikTok. Watch them and like them and share them. And get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and subscribe for tonight at nine o'clock. Enjoy your blossoms. Yes, my cherry has popped out. Dinky Doo from Dodsey and the Isle of Man. We love you. Evidence for truth. Science. Absolutely, Andrew. Dinky-doo. God bless. ta -ra -las.